in case you were wondering how the goats are doing. I'm still getting bullied by the uh, little guy. I've actually got a uh, Amish man coming out. I had to put put a second kennel out there this morning and wrapped it up in a tarp, but I uh, jacked my back up doing so. Um, I got an Amish guy coming uh, tomorrow evening to give me a price on uh, fencing from that three line of trees all the way up that hillside there and uh, to the uh, the power line road that's up there and all the way down to the back. So I'm going to see about getting that all fenced in um, and then just let these guys go. If you see, I tried. That was the sittiest thing I've ever done. I tried to put up a tent, right? thing had a jacked up zipper on it anyway from the last time that the wife and I went camping. I woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and I had to pee so bad that I about... Anyway, I, I tore the uh, zipper off the door. Uh, so I figured it wasn't usable, wasn't usable anyway and we had rain coming. Well, I decided they were just going to chew it up. They're pretty good at chewing shit up. They're still working on that pile. And the goats that keep eating their house. <coughs> Bitch, you're late for work! <coughs> yeah, these are a new addition. Still, uh, still trying to get used to them. Anyway, I got a uh, message back, <clears throat> excuse me, from uh, Yoder Fencing. Seems to be all the Amish folks around here are Yoders, but then again, that seems to be uh, maybe they're maybe all the Amish are Yoders. I don't know. Anyway, um, they're coming out at uh, 5:30 this evening to uh, come out and give me a quote. It's going to be about five and a half or maybe six acres um, that I'm going to be enclosing to uh, just let the goats go. Put them out in there and just have at it uh, because it's everything's really, really growing uh, this season really, really fast. Um, and I'm at a point where I could literally run the weed eater out here eight hours a day and never get, never get ahead of it. Like last year, I actually, uh, I did what I could. <laughs> But, uh, you know, come the middle of June, it was it was overwhelming, and I actually hired a couple of guys to come spend a couple of hours out here running weed eaters just to try to keep up with it because there's so much of it for me to keep up with. And I can only run a weed eater like my hands. Um, <laughs> tomorrow is my 40th birthday, um, and my hands are uh, arthritic, to uh, say the least. And I can really only run a weed eater for about 45 minutes at a time anymore. Um... And then I set it down, and I, I've got what they call weed eater arms, or what I call weed eater arms, where I'm uh, arms shake like I'm Ricky needing a beer, right? Um, and it takes longer and longer for my arms to get back to normal and for my hands to not hurt. Um, but tomorrow, yeah, 40th birthday. Uh... And looking at the 10-day forecast, and everybody says you're supposed to wait till the second week in May, but I'm looking at the 10-day uh, forecast. Tonight's going to be down in the 30s, tomorrow's going to be up in the 70s, and then from there on out, the lows are going to be in the, uh, the 40s or 50s, so I'm putting seeds in the ground tomorrow. Um, I just got done uh, walking around up there looking. The peas that I put in the ground are, uh, are getting bigger, uh, starting to flower, which is good. Um, I can see... In and amongst the uh, garden plot itself where there are uh, blackberry vines that are popping up that uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave the blackberry vines and see if I can't maybe train them into a uh, into some sort of a uh, manageable bush in and amongst the garden uh, so that we c continue to have blackberries this year because last year um, that spot that I just had cleared is where all the blackberries came from. We got two gallon bags of uh, blackberries and uh, I made jalapeno blackberry jam. It was a, uh, a great hit with uh, everybody who uh, who had it and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, some more of that again this season. Um, 
lots of stuff to go in the ground. I'm going to see if I can't get uh, that entire bag of seeds that I have uh, in the ground because uh, we're then expecting rain, expecting rain on and off tomorrow and then expecting rain uh, all weekend. So it'll be good, uh, a good water in and uh, get everything planted, sunflowers, uh, sweet corn, uh, cayenne peppers, jalapenos, uh, yellow peppers, orange peppers, um, there's four or five different varieties of tomatoes, everything from a, uh, a yellow Amish heirloom tomato uh, to uh, green zebra tomatoes. I got Armenian cucumbers, I got pickling cucumbers, I've got uh, striped zucchinis, I think I still have yellow squash. I might have to actually go buy some yellow squash. Um, I think I have some saved from, from what I grew last year, I can't remember. I just, I, I know what I've purchased this year. Um, anyway. Garden is getting planted tomorrow. I will uh, be glad to uh, take some video of that for you so that we actually have some substance uh, for the video this week. And if you might look between those windows right there and see that I'm missing a piece of siding between those windows that wasn't there when I moved in. Uh, we got these tiny little, they look like bees. Um, they were chewing their way into that and I could hear them chewing on my house. So I need to address that. Uh, but all those white specks, I literally just got out the caulking gun and caulked over the top of their holes. Um, and they finally stopped eating the house and or died inside of there. Uh, they're not big like normal uh, carpenter bees are. They're, they're little, like the size of a small house fly. And they were chewing on the house. But I have to uh, address that at some point in the next week as well, whether I just cut a piece of tin or something to stick between there, or if I uh, go down and, I, I don't know, haven't figured that out yet. Anyway, I'll catch you... Uh, when I'm out to uh, plant in the garden. All right, you can see I got my seed bag out. I'm over there planting. I'll go over what I'm planting over there later. Uh, got three spent shells there. Um, I don't know what kind of snake. I've had no issues with taking care of snakes with uh, skeet shells in the past. They're cheap, you can get them for 30 bucks for a box of like 60 of them. You know, they're cost effective, but I <laughs> guess I got to bring out the, uh, the actual shells because uh, I've hit this snake three times and he won't die. And I literally hit him and he falls in the water every time and he won't die. Well, I stand corrected. That third shell got him. You can see the blood in the water. <clears throat> yeah, not a fan of snakes, especially the ones you got to shoot three times before they die. All right, so it might not be pretty because uh, I don't have a tiller. A lot of rocks, uh, but I've been using a little, you know, a little hand spade to uh, plant. Uh, in addition to on the line there underneath are the peas that I planted before that are already starting to flower. I then planted cucumber all the way on this side. This little patch here in the front has um, the yellow zucchini. And then further up the hill, about there, spaced away from the cucumbers there's uh green zucchinis and then there's a row on the other side there of uh, zebra tomato there is a row of uh, abraham lincoln tomato i still have this whole section here to do but all the way down that row up to the top is uh sunflowers and then i have a square of uh, corn planted up there. I still have quite a bit of stuff to plant, but this is about all my uh, <laughs> about all my knees and my back can handle for today. Um, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, but it's looking like it's going to hold off until tomorrow night. So that'll give me time to uh, do some more tomorrow, provided I can actually stand and walk. But I still have. I'm going to put cantaloupe over there on the end. Uh, I still have uh, pickling cucumbers to plant. I still have like five varieties of pepper to plant. This, uh, this is a lot more work than I had anticipated this actually being um, because of how, I mean, if you look at the soil, you got you got dirt down in there. Just gotta go down through it <laughs> and dig a spot so that it's a uh, soil to put the seed in. They're not gonna be in perfect rows, but I'll tell you, if nothing grows on this hillside with the amount of seeds that I put out today alone, um, I'm doing something wrong. But, uh, We'll see. Oh, we will see. First of all, 
happy Friday to you. I don't know when this video is actually going to hit the internet. Um, generally, Friday morning is when I uh, go ahead and upload the video and do all the uh, details and things of the sort. Boy, this thing is all kind of crooked. Um, well, that made it even better. <laughs> Fuck it. Um, so, planted all that stuff on the hill yesterday on my birthday. And uh, about 11.30 last night, I uh, woke up. And uh, I've been dealing with a... Uh, Dealing with a kidney stone since uh, the beginning of March. Um, and well, last night I apparently have another one. So now I have two of them that are stacked on top of one another. Um, we left the house at about 2 o'clock this morning to go to the emergency room like 90 miles that way. Um, very positive experience. The uh, hospital in Kingsport, I, I had a good uh, experience there. Um, Unlike the uh, experiences that I'd had in the past, like they actually gave me something for pain, uh, you know, that's not fucking a leave. Um, but yeah, they stuck me in the uh, CT scan, and the uh, doctor referred to uh, the kidney stones that I have in me uh, uh, as boulders. And when he tells you how big they are, they're about as big as these green bean seeds inside of me. So we got that this morning, and then it was, you know, 90 miles back after spending the whole night in the hospital. Um, so I didn't get a chance to uh, put a video up today. So I currently have two kidney stones in my bladder. Give me a phone number for a urologist, and they're not even open on Fridays to make an appointment. So I'm going to have to call Monday because you get their answering service. It's not even like you can leave a message. Um, yeah, so I've been dealing with that uh, today. Um, all that up, down, and around that uh, I'm crawling around on my knees. I was doing up there planting all that stuff. I had to have knocked the thing loose. And, uh, you know, my mother came over with uh, Dutch treat things to which uh, the Dutch treat staff has changed and things there are not as good um, as they used to be. My wife's making a phone call. But anyway, um, I've been dealing with that, and I'm going to have to deal with going to have a procedure with a urologist to uh, break them up to uh, get them out, and I'm over it because I've been, it's been just under two months I've been dealing with the one moving around. Um, and now uh, there's two of them that are like the size of a Skittle. And uh, that's, uh, that's not coming out on its own. The last time that I had uh, that procedure done, it was the most miserable thing in the world to wake up from. Um, but, and it's supposed to have been raining by now. It, it feels like rain, but it isn't raining. Um, I'm just, I'm hoping that all that work I did over there on the hillside isn't for nothing. Uh, it's too big of an area to try to... Uh, pump it up the hill with my house water system and uh, deplete the uh, uh, spring water out of the water box. Too big of an area. Um, too much walking to walk with a watering can. Like I, I'm going to need to, uh, I'm reliant on uh, nature. Um, soil was damp when I put the seeds in and they're calling for at least a 40% chance of rain every day for like the next 10 days. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that 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 nature will cooperate with me there. But, um, come on, man, get off of my... No, don't you even go. Hold on. Get, get. Oh, damn birds trying to build nests on my porch. They've got mud everywhere and shit on everything. Got to pick everything up off the porch uh, in the morning and uh, hose the porch off. I'm not in the mood for that currently. See how I uh, feel in the morning, but the pain last night was awful. Like the worst kidney stone pain I've ever felt. Um, 
I had a couple of uh, what are they Toradols left from when I went to uh, urgent care on the 11th of March. Um, but they tear my stomach up, like they inflame my stomach, so I hadn't taken any of them. But you got to take them with this other thing, and I was at the point where I didn't care. So you know, I took one of those, I got about 45 minutes of sleep, and then I got up again, it was like 1.30. I couldn't stand, I couldn't sit, I couldn't lay in bed, I couldn't do anything. Um, so we got in the car and made the drive. Anyway, that's what happened there. Uh, let's hope for some rain. Um, all that happy nonsense. I'll go ahead and get this uh, video put together and uh, put it online. Um, we'll see. I see it in my face. It's been a long day. It's uh, about 7 o'clock at night now, and uh, I've been awake since you know, like 11.30 last night, 11 o'clock something. So that's it for this week. I will... Uh, I'll... The Amish guy came out and looked at what I wanted to do for a fence. Uh, and apparently my budget and what I want to build uh, is beneath what he does. Uh, so he's not building me a fence. Looks like I'm going to end up building it myself because, once again, nobody in Lee County wants to actually work. I don't know what the uh, unemployment rate is in this county, but can't find anybody that wants to actually work that like need to find somebody who's like a legitimately a handyman to help and not just a guy that knows how to oh yeah I can build you a fence and, and I ran into that mistake when I hired somebody who said they could do drywall um, when we first moved into the house because the ceiling in the living room needed to taped and mudded and there was a portion of the wall that needed to uh, taped and mudded and I mean I, I'm not very good with drywall especially the uh, like the ceilings got texture and then the walls have none so they're very unforgiving with um, land mud what are you getting into kitty anyway uh, that's going to wrap up this week's video uh, sorry it's a little bit late but it's whatever it is I'll uh Hopefully catch you guys next week, but depending on when the, uh, if I can get a, uh, a urology appointment to get the kidney stones uh, broken up and uh, taken out, um, I'll probably be down for, well, <laughs> it's probably way too much information, but they put a stent in there, which is like a plastic hose. Well, it's like a straw, like you'd get one of them big tall drinks in uh, Vegas or like on an old school plastic cup that had like the ribs on it. They leave that inside of you uh, for, I don't know, four or five days. And then you have to go back and they pull it out. So I might lose a week, but hopefully in that time, uh, nature will water the hillside. And uh, all I'll have to worry about uh, during that time is uh, the grass growing, feeding the animals and uh, keeping the laundry done and keeping us fed. So. Anyway, I'm told if you hit the like button, it helps the algorithm, but it, my algorithm is broken. Um, hummingbirds. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Here's to uh, feeling better.